Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, members across the House will have been shocked and appalled by the recent deaths of children from Strepe, and our thoughts are with all those families affected. Cases are on the rise, and as we head into winter, it is vital that parents are able to get their children the care they so desperately need. The shortage of GPs means too many are struggling to see a doctor, and we are now seeing reports of shortages of antibiotics too. So what advice can the Minister give parents if their children are exhibiting symptoms but they can't get a GP appointment, and what assurances can they give on the supply and availability of antibiotics? So, so the Honourable Lady does raise an important issue, and I know it is one that is concerning to many families. Uh, across the country, and it's therefore helpful to be able to just reassure the House uh, in terms of our response on that. Uh, and firstly, whilst GPs are important in this, so are directors of public health, and they are leading the response in areas including the liaison with schools. Uh, we are seeing an earlier peak than usual uh, in terms of cases, uh, the, these cases, uh, and we believe this is due to lower exposure during the pandemic, which has then meant to lower. Uh, immunity. Uh, there is no new strain, um, and, and that I think is one of the key points uh, in terms of reassurance. But the UK Health Security Agency has declared a national standard, uh, and that enables them to better coordinate our response, including uh, across schools. Luke Colburn, question seven.